it's taste pink and who child we got quite a transformation today you guys are loving the updos so i'm back with this drawstring afro puff sis i'm giving you power afro puff realness okay you guys are gonna love this i'm gonna give you a little bit more of the sledge and we're gonna jump right into the content because the girls love content <music> Now you all know I'm a true 4C natural and my hair is lightly blown out, but moisture routines are critical. So I'm doing this leave-in hot oil treatment and I microwaved some jojoba oil for 15 to 20 seconds. And I'm gonna add in two of my favorite essential oils. The first one is rosemary essential oil. Use about five to seven drops and then I'm adding the tea tree essential oil. And this is so important, sis. You want to make sure that you are nourishing the scalp prior to the styling process. Specifically for updos, I really like to take the time. Even though it's an updo, it's a protective style, there is a certain amount of tension and I'm going to be using a pomade and I don't want it to dry my hair out, potentially causing, you know, dandruff, causing build up or, you know, just like drying my hair out and causing breakage at the ends. So moisture retention can help with length retention. So it says, stay safe okay my oil mixtures are bomb and i don't just focus this on the scalp the entire hair is the target so work it into the ends don't be afraid and massage this into the scalp don't ever skip massaging you want to stimulate blood flow in the scalp that's how we're going to get that growth and i typically keep my hair in twist prior to doing updos because i'm trying to reduce the likelihood of shrinkage even though it's inevitable with the 4c kind of you know struggle but you know what i appreciate that because that's a protective mechanism shrinkage is what is protecting our hair keeping it closer to the moisture source oh see i'm giving y'all gems Did a little note right there so always try to elongate the hair for the entire styling process so it doesn't shrivel up on you. And I'm telling you, heating up the oil, it takes it to a whole nother level, so don't skip that step, sis. Woo. But can we talk about my length? Okay, y'all sleep, I'm not, my hair is growing and I'm living for every part of it. <laughs> now, Style Factor Edge Booster Pomade. Not the styling gel, sis, because that doesn't work for me. I'm just all, you know, just being real. I like to use this product, but apply it in sections. So I part the hair and then apply the product. And that's one of the reasons why I made sure to emphasize moisturizing the hair and the scalp before applying this so it doesn't dry your hair out. I know some of you say that the pomade kind of creates a white residue, but moisture helps to reduce that white cast so definitely take the time to add that moisture. And it's always about getting the pomade near the roots, not so much the ends, that's not important. And I'm using a bristle brush to really work that and distribute it through the base of my hair. And my ponytail is going to be right at the position of my ears at the top of the crown. This is very important. I like my puffs, my ponytails to be at the highest point of my head. So my ears are like a great indicator of where I want it to be. So just make sure it's in line. Now I'm using the Style Factor Edge Booster Pomade and Hideout. Now this has a bit of a color to it. The hideout comes in black or brown. I'm using black. I prefer brown, but I couldn't find it. And my hair is particularly fine around the perimeter. And you can have thick 4C nodular hair at the crown, you know, all around your head, but your perimeter could be more fine in its texture and consistency. So, you know, you're not alone, sis. I totally understand. And I like using this because it just makes it appear a little bit more thick, more dense. Now, I'm using a Santa neck strip and a satin scarf to set my hair. I have to set my hair. She will frizz, okay? I'm gonna be real honest with you. So I'm gonna set her for 15 minutes. And you know, then I like to twist down my puff. Now I'm not gonna braid it because this is not a style that I kept in very long. I had to get cute, I had to go out and I did my thing and I came back, took it down. And that's what I like about these particular styles. You get ease, you know, of styling and it's beginner friendly. I got you, sis. Now I'm just touching up the perimeter and making sure it's super slick because I don't want to install the ponytail and then, you know, I end up with a bunch of frizz because then I'm gonna be tight. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so I'm using the Instant Pony Afro Puff Enlarge. They have three different sizes, so if this is too big for you, sis, I got you. If you wanna install this for your kids, you have other size options. Now this has combs on the front and back along with the drawstring and the texture, the color on this number four is everything. When you're styling your puff, I position it at the top of my head, like right at the center of the crown. And you don't want to insert the combs into your scalp. You wanna insert it into the ponytail. And when you bring that drawstring around, don't make it so tight. Like I barely did one full go around the base of my ponytail because you will force the combs to go deeper into your scalp or into your ponytail, which can be super uncomfortable. And I took a little bit of foam because, you know, much like a curly wig, you want to fluff out the curls you want to give a little bit more volume and just make it look kind of lived in so it's not like too uh shrunken and i like this and again i'm going back with this satin scarf because again 4c hair needs to set okay you gotta set now i came back with my makeup okay the glam is here now I'm just swooping up these edges just a little bit more because I, I want it to be cute. I want it to complement the look and my face. And sis, this is such a look and your makeup will take this over the top. I'm going neon y'all to death, okay? Especially with this little neon green. And um, I know you guys want more makeup tutorials. I heard you. So I think I'm gonna come up with a little series where I show some makeup tips at the end of my video, like show like application of eyeshadow because y'all be bugging over the eyeshadow. What do you think, sis? Let me know in the comments. Be sure to subscribe. Let me know on YouTube. I'll give you a nice warm welcome. Thumbs up this video. Share with your homeboys, your homegirls. And don't forget to comment below. I'm trying to talk to y'all. What's up? Hot girl summer. Never my heart belongs to you, that's alright with me Worlds could end up on me, so in love that I can't see You and me were meant to be, that's alright with me